Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can add your Facebook pixel with your WordPress website so that you can run your Facebook lead generation campaign or sales campaign or you can run conversion campaigns. So in order to connect your pixel with your WordPress website, you have to just simply perform three steps. Number one, to create a pixel in your Facebook ads manager. Number two, to install a simple plugin which will help you to connect pixel with your website. And number three, to connect pixel and finally test whether it is working or not. So that is the agenda for this video. So stay tuned till the end, watch entire video follow all the steps as it is and if you are coming on the channel for the very first time please do subscribe right now so first step is to create the facebook pixel so for that you will go to your facebook ads manager you can search on google facebook ads manager once you are logged in with your facebook account and you are on your ads manager account from the left hand side you will click on all tools <laughs> And here you will click on events manager. Either you can find it here or you, if you scroll down, you will also find it here. So click on events manager. Once you click on events manager, then you will be able to see some option. So by default, if you don't have any events manager or any data source connected that is pixel connected, then you will see this screen. So you need to click on connect data, click on connect data, click on connect. Now here you will need to give a name. So I am giving a name. Don't worry, this name will not be visible to the user. So you can give it as per your reference. Now click on create. Once you give it a name and click on create, the next thing it will ask you for the partner. So let's say if you have any website which is using all any of these a partner integration, then you can go for that. So right now we have our website made in WordPress. But if you don't want to use this, then you can do it connect manually. And that is something which you will use because sometimes it may you know find you some problem that while clicking on this option and moving further you may find some difficulties so in order to avoid it we are doing it manually so connect manually click on that now it says meta pixel and conversion api recommended so you yeah, just keep it as it is and then click on next once you click on next it says conversion api and meta pixel c instruction c instruction so you can click on c instruction or you can directly install the pixel so since we are using pixel for now so we'll click on c instruction pixels and then we will click on finish so here it will give you the code that is base code so you need to just copy this code and it says the pixel code is snippet of javascript that is added to the header section of the website the pixel has two part the base code and the event tag the base code which is this copy the base code it means you need to paste this code inside the header please understand header means which is global for the entire website so that each and every page of your wordpress website can be tracked using pixel so i'll just copy this code once the code is copied now we'll come to wordpress dashboard and this is our step number two to install a plugin so we'll go to add new plugin section and here is a it's beautiful and small plugin which is called WP code. It will help you to insert any kind of code, whether it is pixel or search console or anything in your website header. So you will search for WP code in the search bar. Once you search for WP code, it says WP code insert headers and footers install now. Once you install the plugin, the simply next step is to simply activate the plugin. So the plugin is installed. Now click on activate. Once this plugin is activated, you can find this plugin inside your WordPress dashboard on the left hand side. So after activating the plugin, it will give you an option of WP code on the left hand side code snippets. That is this one. So once you hover on it, you need to click on header and footer. Click on this. So since we want to add header, uh, you know, pixel code inside the header. So we will just paste this code in the first box, which is named as header. So we will just paste this code here. And once it is pasted, we will just click on save changes here on the top and right top right hand side. So this that's how you can insert the pixel code. So once the pixel code is added, now come back to WordPress dashboard. We have completed this step. Now click on continue. Now it says automatic advanced matching. We need to enable all these options right for the better result. So as of now, we can just enable all these options right and then go for continue now it says how it works use the event setup tool on your website to check whether the pixel is installed or not so we'll say go to event setup tool and this event setup tool helps whether the you know events are uh, triggering or not or whether the pixel is installed or not otherwise there is another way of, of checking pixel also that will i that i will tell you so i'll just click on this click on open e website and here it will open a tool which is called events right 
so <laughs> it means from here you can set up multiple events that is whether to track purchases to track thank you pages sales conversion everything you can do that but as of now we are just skipping this step and we are going to go to pixel overview and once you go to pixel overview your pixel is successfully connected to the wordpress website and how to check whether it is connected or not so you can just directly so in order to check whether the pixel is properly connected or not you just need to simply install one extension that is called pixel helper so this is a chrome extension which will help you to identify if the pixel is successfully connected or so meta pixel helper is the name of the extension it is a lightweight extension so not a problem add to chrome click on add to chrome click on add extension once you click on add extension it will be installed in your browser now click on the website refresh the ones and from extensions you can click on meta pixel helper now it shows you one pixel found on learnwp.co.in now you can call you know compare the id that is we have 6161 in the last and here in the id as well 6161 in the last it means our pixel is successfully connected with our wordpress website and once the user will start visiting our to our website after the pixel is connected we will get the data here as well because we just installed so we do not have any data but as soon as website visitors will start visiting the website we will have the data and you can also set up the conversion so guys that's how you can set up pixel in your wordpress website and please mind it this method will also work for html or any other website all you need to do is just install or you can say paste that particular code into the header part which is global to your website and it will be good to go it does not matter whether it is a wordpress website or html based website so guys that's it for this video i will catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day take care